and the Navy Encyclopedia being a government, and uh, that wasn't trying to alert you. That was just agreeing with you. I don't know what other signal I can make. I'll be very brief. I've uh, Mr. Ferraza asked a couple of the questions that I was concerned about, at least generally speaking. And I, um, by the way, that was an excellent presentation, probably the best CDGB presentation I've seen in my 15 years of uh, attending city council meetings. And if the lady's going to come all the way from Denver, Colorado, at least one citizen should come to the podium and show some interest. Uh, I had a, I noticed that crime was high on the list on both lists, which sometimes happens, uh, the people moved here because there isn't very much crime, but the people are maybe moving out because there's, there is too much crime, so it's working both ways. The one question that never seems to be answered, um, in my mind anyway, is this concept of what is the average price of an affordable home? I remember a few years ago they were building some homes here and there, and they were $100,000, $130,000 homes, and that just seems uh, a little bit exorbitant. And I'm talking about back when prices were high. Now a $130,000 house is a whole different story. My other question was um, uh, how many people were in this survey? How were they picked? And... Um, and, and, and what was the general demographic of the people? She said something, she said it was not a, a, a audio, but it was more mostly done on the, in the paper and stuff like that. So I'm curious how they selected the people to ask these questions of. Okay, thank you.